All right, today I'm gonna to do a video about how to properly ship a woofer, at least uh, one of the proper ways to ship a woofer. Uh, this is a technique I've used for at least 10 years, and I have yet to have a cone get damaged um, in shipping. And it doesn't require plywood. You don't need to go out there and drill holes and get your table saw out, um, but you will need to prepare. So what you're gonna need is obviously your woofer. This is a 12 inch JBL uh, from the late 70s or early 80s. And uh, I have gone ahead and ordered 18 inch cardboard squares, which is, this is my go-to size. You can pretty much attach any woofer to them from, you know, obviously within a reasonable size. So from 12 to 15 inches um, and uh, that would be a pretty safe safe bet. Uh, typically, people aren't going to be shipping anything bigger than 16, uh, maybe in the case of an Altec speaker. But uh, anyway, so first things first, these are just squares. You can go on uline.com, order them. If you have a local um, packing store, they might carry them. Uh, they're, you know, 50 cents each, maybe slightly more or less. And uh, they're, they're thin on their own, so you'll need to go ahead and... Uh, I, I combine three of them, and that's usually plenty. Um, plenty of structure. You could go and punch, uh, punch the front of the, of the uh, covered cone, and, and you're not going to even flex it. Now, obviously, if you're, you know, macho man and you go punch it, you might actually punch through it. But... Within a reason, once the, the woofer is in a box, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty secure. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this woofer over, and then I'll give you an idea of how you'll go about mounting it. Okay, so we've got the woofer upside down and ready uh, to for the first step. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take a pencil. Now, these are just the screw holes, so screws have already been through them. Um, if, if your woofer has never been mounted, you're going to want to go ahead and, and poke holes in the surround just in the area where the screws are. Because if you've just redone the woofer, there's not going to be holes, possibly, and you don't want to, you know, detach your surround instead of poke through it. Um, and you also want to be able to mark your cardboard. So I'm just going to go straight down here until you poke, poke a little indentation into the first layer of cardboard. We'll go back here. Oh, I think I broke the pencil, but that's okay. Still will work. And then here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove the woofer because uh, you don't wanna damage it by trying to poke all the way through the three layers of cardboard um, while it's still there. So you've made, you've made indentations. You just need to go ahead and uh, move the woofer out of the way and then poke your holes and I'll show you how. Okay, so you can see the holes here, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and expand these, and we'll just use our tool here, and uh, we'll poke through. I'm not going to obviously poke into my carpet, but you're just going to go through all three layers at the same time. You want to make sure they're square, and then what you'll do is once you've, you've kind of, you can do this obviously at the same time, you want to poke a hole uh, next to that hole, um, not too far away, just something like that, all the way through all three layers. I'm using uh, this, this tool I have and then it gives you a nice uniform hole. You can use a screwdriver, you can drill it if you really wanna get cardboard all over the place, it's up to you. So now, next step is I'll show you what the finished project product will look like. What you're basically gonna do is you're going to take some zip ties and you're going to run them through the hole, through the woofer frame and then around, and you'll uh, zip them shut and then cut the excess off. It's pretty simple, and uh, I'll, I'll show you um, on the finished product here. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. We're gonna do this one in one shot here, and here we are. So this is a, a, another 12-inch woofer, just slightly smaller, not quite as heavy. So as you can see, I took and ran the, um, the zipper end, um, basically, it's, it, it sort of locks it in place if you, if you, if you run that uh, the opposite end through and then loop it up and around the cardboard and you do that all four. You don't want to get them super tight at first. You want to make sure you have all four of them in 
and then you can start to ratchet them down. And then so what you can see here is you've got, you know, you don't have to go crazy because you don't want to pull the zip tie through the cardboard, um, but I haven't. And so uh, that's, that's going to be good enough. And so what you want to do now is uh, get yourself an 18 by 18 inch box. Yes, it'll be the same size, but the squares should fit. And you'll go ahead and uh, put, put a couple inches of packing peanuts or foam or whatever material you really prefer. It won't really matter because this side will be sealed. All you really need is the padding um, from whatever uh, packing material you, you choose to use. All right, I've got a few inches of packing peanuts in the bottom of this 18 by 18 by 10 inch box, which is plenty of room for this relatively light woofer. If you got something that weighs 20 or 25 pounds, uh, like some of the larger Altec or JBL units, you want to make sure it's double walled. Um, but this package is staying in the state and the cardboard, um, the three layers will give the box extra um, structure. So here we go. I'm going to do this as best I can. Oh, one handed. If I can. And I can. So just kind of kind of get this in here, push your corners in, and then you can fill this up with uh, uh, whatever material, material you want. I would typically put down a layer of bubble wrap or plastic first so you don't get um, packing peanuts pushed up inside the, the frame of the cone. And uh, that should do it. Um, and right now it looks like I've got about three or four inches. So I could have put a, a little bit more padding in the bottom um, but there's going to be plenty here when you consider you got three layers of cardboard two inches of foam and nothing's going to happen to this driver so uh, once again you want 18 by 18 inch if, you, if you're shipping smaller uh, woofers you could get by with 15 by 15 or 14 by 14 but you definitely want a couple inches of of, uh, of uh, buffer so uh, that's why i chose the 18 by 18 because i usually ship 15 inch woofers this was kind of a one-off. It was light enough for me to kind of handle and do a video at the same time. Um, so that's why I chose this woofer to do the video for. But it'll, the same steps will apply. These, these uh, zip ties are by far uh, enough for pretty much any woofer that you want to use. You could use lighter zip ties. As long as you use all four of them, it, it's going to be fine. And there's no real possible way uh, that, that they're going to break or detach. All right, I've put a, a layer, um, well, I guess three to four inches of packing peanuts down, and now this job is basically done. Uh, just tape it up good and uh, uh, make sure that you don't, you know, you don't need to go crazy and stuff the peanuts in there. You can have plenty of surface area, and this thing shouldn't really end up upside down anyway. So uh, fill it up to the top, um, and, then, and then close it, tape it, and send it on its way. Um, if, if this video was useful to you, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, like, um, and if you like vintage audio, uh, maybe you'll want to consider subscribing since that's one of uh, the topics, one of the main things I, I post videos about. Anyway, in any case, I appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to any questions, comments in the section down below. Thank you.